Hello friends, welcome to the Power BI tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see the different type of chart available into the Power BI. In the previous tutorial, we have seen the column chart, like um, we exported data from the Excel and we generated the uh, like this column chart and we have seen the different um, like properties of that chart. We implemented all those property over that chart and we have seen like how it reflect our chart uh, with those properties. So in this uh, tutorial, we will see like uh, you know, what other chart available into the um, like um, this Power BI. So what we will do, we will export the data from the Excel and we will see like different type of chart for the Power BI. So let's uh, go to that uh, uh, application. So this is the example which we have seen into, into the last uh, uh, tutorial, like what we have done. We have exported the data from this Excel and like we were uh, having one uh, sample uh, Excel file and we ex um, like loaded that Excel file and after that we clicked on this uh, like this uh, uh, column chart and that chart was look like this after putting some like formatted over this chart. Now what we will do like we, we can see the different type of chart available. Uh, into that um, like this Power BI desktop. So like here uh, the first one is the like Power BI chart. So here it is coming actually like what we want like uh, existing chart if you want to change into the different visualization format. So just click here and click on that particular chart which you want to show. So currently we can see like uh, it has changed from column chart to that bar chart. So now let's what we will do, we will take one more property of this uh, chart, we will implement and we will see like how it look like. So here currently like we can see there is a one more uh, like data field called legend. So what I will do, I want to differ this data based on the country. So what I will do, I'll just uh, drag and drop this country here and we will see the changes we can see here like uh, for the different different country it is showing the data and here we can see the labels like Canada, France, Germany, Mexico, United States of America and whenever we click any of this country like let's click on this America we can see uh, only this color is much highlighted and when we go for the Mexico it is highlighting my, much. So like it is give us the facility to sh uh, show the data more clear like how now the top management what they see basically like they have exported that excel file but we know like that in excel file we can't see the proper data like how it is working but now with this visualization way we can see like in this october month how my company is growing based on the country like we can see based on this but now if we want to show some label to uh, these things like how many percent or something then what i can do i can enable that data label from here and we can see the data like how many data is there for particular month and to the respective country so that is the way like we can show and instead of this bar graph if we want to show with the stack column chart then we can do in this way also like it will automatically convert that particular chart into the different chart and this is the another cluster uh, like cluster bar chart like here it show into the different different line we can see uh, like this one it will show with mm, with the different different uh, like the lines but in this like stack chart in the one row it give the different different uh, portion so th th these are the differences like this is a another uh, like stack bar chart 100% stack bar chart and this is a uh, like uh, another chart that is called like uh, stack column chart so these are the many type of chart available uh, for the uh, this power bi desktop and the we, as per our expectation we can show the visualization of the data and same data if we want to show uh, using the pie chart then we can show but always remember like if we have huge amount of data uh, then uh, like um, don't go for this uh, like pie chart because uh, the record is very clumsy like we can see like it is very tedious to understand like for which country it is showing uh, uh, what the data and like th there is another uh, data is uh, like uh, the chart is a donor chart so here different type of the chart available for this power bi desktop uh, so that is all about the like uh, different type of power bi uh, chart uh, into this um, like power bi application 
uh, like desktop application in the coming tutorial we will see like uh, like what is the map chart like this is the map chart and uh, like a different type of chart which we learn um, like how we implement those kind of chart into this power bi desktop application so uh, as of now if you have any question or doubt please comment thank you